Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right at the featured content on the right-hand side. You just hit that button. You can get it for one month for $149, six months for $695, which is the savings of... $199 or 22% in one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593.33. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks, okay? So when you get Steve's newsletter, you're also going to get all the tools that Steve uses each and every day. Huge value, folks. Huge value. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Just returning from a uh, great weekend visit with my uh, one of my youngest grandsons, Charlie, oh. who's 16 months old. How cool He's, is that? He, he lives, yeah. Oh, it's, it's such a he lives up in uh, Roswell, Georgia. Okay. And you know, you spend time up in Georgia; it's nothing but hills. Yeah. And this this 16 month old, he loves being outside. It doesn't matter if it's raining, walking up the hills. So I got a great workout in. I bet you uh, did. You know, hard to keep up with a 16-month-old. That's who's, a fact, who's, man. But you, know, you can do it. Run. You can yeah. do it, Steve Rhodes. Yeah. No Absolutely. doubt, man. I Absolutely. like it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, hey, um, my question for for you, for everybody, is, and what we're going to talk about today, is has the next bull run in gold begun? So I thought we'd go ahead and take that. Good. Now, now, you know, the, the normal bull run out there, the one in Pamplona, that, that kicks off every July 7th, I believe, every year, <laughs> like is it. when they do that bull run. But we're talking about the bull run in gold out here. So the best bull markets, I've found, the best bull markets on hold when prices rising in all major currencies out there. By major yes. currencies, I'm referring to the euro, to the pound, uh, yep. to the uh, yen, uh, you know, the, the major currencies out there. And here is a chart that uh, takes us back to the 2000-2011 time frame, where I've got the green uh, upward arrows drawn. We can see that gold was rising in all of those currencies at the same time. Okay. And that's what makes a really great bull market. Of course, we can also see that gold's been rising basically since 2016, when the U.S. dollar index put in its bottom out here. Um, so if we take that a bit further, you had mentioned this during the show. You would take a look at the GLD. You had brought the chart back. You would take a look. Said, we are at new all-time highs. It's new all-time. It's original all-time high, or it's most recent all-time high, uh, that I had uh, occurred back in August of 2020. And that was at the price point of 194.45. And the reason that I switched uh, right here to the GLD charts, Tom, is because the people at home, the folks that are watching, can recreate these charts. Maybe yes. they don't have access to the gold futures contract. And as you said, you know, looking at the different gold futures contracts makes it slightly complicated um, because of using the continuous contract. Sure. And not knowing, you know, and so I thought I'd go with the GLD. But as you pointed out, even the GLD, we've got expenses. Um, you've got... Um, uh, so you got expenses associated with this. But here's what we do know. The GLD, in terms of U.S. dollars, made a new all-time high today. It did the same thing in terms of Great British Pound. Great British Pound, previous all-time high was on October 27th. With regard to gold, the GLD and yen, that's going to be the upper right-hand panel out here. That broke to new all-time high maybe about two weeks ago. And uh, with regard wow. to gold, in terms of the uh, uh, euro down here, this would be the uh, center panel at the uh, bottom. This broke to a new all-time high on Friday. Friday's price action took it to a all new all-time high. And the uh, same in terms of Aussie dollars. Aussie dollars actually made a new all-time high, I believe, was on uh, Thursday of last week. So we've got all of we've got the GLD, we've got gold trading in major currencies at new all-time highs. Like you said, once you get to new all-time highs, you really don't have any resistance out there. Yes. Right. We don't have resistance. That means we really need to rely upon different pattern recognition tools that you use. Larry uses uh, Basil uses that I use out there. We really need to rely on those pattern tools to help assist us with regard to where an instrument is going. So, again, the best bull runs, they unfold when an instrument is trading higher in all major currencies. So I would say that box number one has been checked that maybe we are in the beginning of a new bull run. Let's go take a look. What is box number two? Box number two, Tom, is what I call the dance steps of the market. Not like the basic box dance that you and I probably learned initially. Did your mom teach you how to do the box dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all <laughs> went around. There's no doubt. There used to be a lot of singing and a lot of dancing, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to consider that box number two like out that. there. And when I'm referring <laughs> to the dance steps, folks, 
I'm taking a look at a chart. This is a monthly chart for gold. This is the continuous contract for gold. And the red digits that you see out there, what they are tracking are consecutive months to the downside. And my contention is that the real bull market for gold back in the 2000 time period began in October of 2000. And the way that I concluded that is in real bull runs out there, we don't typically see pullbacks that last more than two consecutive sessions to the downside. And that's what we see when we begin back here in October of 2000. We can see that all these retracements took place. There were just basically two bar knee jerk reaction lows out there. Well, where are we at today? Turns out that if we go back into the uh, June, July time frame, we had a two month move to the downside. At the end of February, that was also a two-month move to the downside, and we've taken off. Now, what's unique about this is we're now at new all-time highs, which we each of us took a look at. So here, if we go back again and take a look at this, we've got these two. We got this monthly two-bar move to the downside before price resumes to the upside out there, and we've got that pattern that's in play right now. So I would say that box number two at this stage of the game has also been checked. Well, what I'm not saying out here, folks, and I want to make sure that I'm very clear, is that even though we've identified these major bull runs, there still are retracements that take place. And these retracements, if we are in this major bull run, we shouldn't see anything that lasts beyond two full months of consecutive moves lower out there. So therefore, um, to manage through this bull run, uh, you really need to rely upon pattern recognition because we're going to have these retracements out there. Okay. Yes. So what does that mean, Stevie? What that means, if we take a look at the daily chart for gold, and I go back here into the uh, October time frame, we're going to see, this is a daily time frame, we're going to see our TD9 count pattern. So all that I've really hi uh, highlighted out here are TD9 counts. It's one of the tools that I teach folks. So if people don't know this pattern, they're trading uh, gold, they're trading any vehicle, they've got an opportunity, they can subscribe to Mastering Probability, they can do it for less than 30 days, it doesn't cost them anything, and they will learn this pattern. And we can see that the actual last bottom that formed on a daily basis inside of uh, gold was a TD9 count bottom. Now this takes us back into the, two, this is the TD9 count bottom that formed back here, uh, back in the uh, February time frame. If I go back and take a look at the 2000 bull run, we'll see all kinds of TD9 counts out there. So it's not as if I'm sharing with people a pattern that didn't exist and didn't work back during that 2000 bull run. So it's one pattern that folks should be paying attention to. I So I, my conclusion, Tom, with regard to has the next bull run in gold begun, I believe the answer to that is yes until proven otherwise. And the proven otherwise would be more than a two-month decline out there. And I just think we're off to the upside. And I think we're just at the beginning phase here of this part of that bull run. And, folks, it's really – you heard what Steve was saying about the – and I can tell you, you know, we've all been around a long time. The key what Steve was saying – is that in all currencies, all currencies, you have higher highs. Because I remember the yes. first time you figured that out, Steve, okay? Yeah. And that's yeah. a Steve Rhodes deal, folks, okay? Because I remember the first time you figured that out in the broad market, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's, it's and that's cool so thing. cool, man, That you, because that totally makes sense. You got more buyers, right? You yeah. Have, you have higher highs right across the world, man. Worldwide. Folks, rally. get over to our website at TFNN. It's right into featured content, right-hand side, prop, mastering probability. Hit that, baby. Thanks so much, Steve. Have a great one. Look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Tom. Take care. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.